As a specialist, I rely on referrals from general dentists and other specialists to keep my practice busy. And as such, I want every patient that comes through my office to have as positive an experience as possible. And sometimes that's very difficult because you may get patients in pain or patients who are anxious about being referred to the surgeon who uh, I may see once for consultation, once for surgery, once for post-op, and that's it. And so I have very limited opportunity to win over the patient. In a general practice, even though uh, most of your patients are referred by other patients or uh, maybe if you do advertising or subscribe to a referral service, you're getting patients from that source, you really have the same dilemma, and that is that you want every patient that comes through your office to have as positive an experience as possible so that they'll come back to you and so they'll refer their friends. So along those lines, if a patient comes into your office with a tooth that's non-restorable and needs to be removed, just because you have an opening in your schedule does not mean that you should not refer that patient to an oral surgeon for treatment. You've really got to look at the patient, you've got to look at the complexity uh, of the problem, and you've got to look at your skill level and your confidence level and decide whether or not this is something that you can do in the office and can do in that 15 to 30 minute time frame I talked about and do it comfortably for the patient and not throw off your entire schedule for the afternoon if things don't go as planned. I want everything that you do in your practice to be just like in mine, to be a practice builder for you. If you're going to be doing surgery, I want you to be able to do it well and I want you to be able to serve the patient well so that they have a positive experience. But I also want you to learn from this series when to just say no, when to look at the patient and say, you know, this is a, a full bony impacted uh, wisdom tooth in a patient who's a gagger and very anxious. And really the best thing to do is to send the patient to the oral surgeon let them have it done under general anesthesia and have them return to your office telling you what a wonderful experience it was at the oral surgeon's office and thanking you for making that referral. Sweating it out for 45 minutes to an hour to take out an impacted tooth in an anxious patient with difficult access is no fun for anybody. And I want you to enjoy dentistry and I want you to have a thriving practice and I want you to have happy patients.